Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today for our webinar on the Global Masters of Finance here at Olin Business School at Washington University in St. Louis. Um, I do appreciate you <clears throat> joining me today. My name is Colton Richardson. I'm a graduate programs recruiter here with Olin Business School for our presentation on all the different <clears throat> things about our Global Masters of Finance program. We'll dive a little bit deeper into the curriculum for a couple of different programs, some grand or full experiences that you'll have and go through those. Wonderful, and like I said, my name is Colton Richardson. I'm a graduate programs recruiter here at Olin Business School, and I'll be with you for just about the next 30 minutes or so going through all of this presentation. Um, and just before we get going, I wanna go over some different rule, uh, some parameters that we'll have here during the um, presentation for some housekeeping tips. And so just to let everyone know, I've gone ahead and muted everyone just so we can reduce the background noise to make sure that everyone enjoys the presentation. And also, um, I just want to make sure that everyone can hear me. Uh, and so if you can go ahead and if you can't hear me, just please feel free to let me know. Uh, you can use that chat box or the raise your hand function to make sure that we can help you as best we can throughout the presentation. Um, for this webinar, it will be recorded. So if you have to leave early for any reason, please do not worry. Uh, we will send out the link to uh, anyone who registered for this event. So that way that you can have that uh, as soon as it becomes available after today. So we will take questions at the end of the presentation, but please feel free to leave your questions in the Q&A function or the Q&A box at any time. Um, if it doesn't seem like your question benefits the larger group or we run out of some time to answer everyone's questions, I will make sure to follow up with you directly by the end of next week. <clears throat> Wonderful. And so if everyone's ready, we'll go ahead and just dive in. So today, like I mentioned, we'll start off talking about some program offerings that we have here at Olin, as well as diving into the curriculum as a part of the GMF or Global, <clears throat> Global Masters in Finance program. Uh, we'll dive into some curriculums of our partner programs. Uh, we'll talk about one of the key immersion, ex or excuse me, key experiences that students will have as a part of this program, which is our immersion experience. Uh, we'll talk about how to apply to the program, and then we'll go through some next steps. And I don't see anyone in that chat box making sure that they can't hear me. So we'll just go ahead and dive on in. Uh, and so we'll talk about a couple of different program offerings that we have here at Olin. Uh, so we do have our Master in Finance program, which is, uh, has three different tracks as our corporate finance and investment, our quantitative finance and wealth and asset management. Uh, and I'm three tracks beyond our Global Masters of Finance, which we actually have five international partner schools that you'll pair with as a part of this Global Master of Finance program. Um, you can see them on the screen there. We'll also dive a little bit deeper individually. Uh, but first, I want to talk about uh, what the curriculum and what the program will look like here at OLED. And so uh, I will go through a couple of different examples of some curriculum that you can see. Uh, so your first semester, and as a part of the program, you'll dive into four courses. Uh, and now we'll get into a little bit more on each individual programs in a minute on what that time frame will look like. Uh, so some programs might be in certain semesters, that's why I only label this semester one and semester two, uh, so that way, you can kind of see uh, it doesn't so much reflect on the time of the year, it is each individual semester. So that first semester one will have four different courses in finan uh, finance. So you'll go through investment theory, talk about some options and futures, dive a little bit individually into those areas. Uh, and then next in our semester two is, as you can see, an intense semester uh, full of finance courses. But at the end, you have to remember that you'll have two degrees from the Global Master of Finance program. You'll have the degree from Olin or, and the degree or certificate from your partner program. So that's why you can see it, it's very intense during those two semesters that you'll be on campus, but you will have two degrees by the end of that program. And so that second semester, you can see you'll run through more advanced corporate finance, 
dive a little bit deeper into the data analysis side of the program. And then also we'll talk about a little bit later, uh, you'll really dive into that immersion experience, which like I said, we'll talk a little bit later, but it is one of those key hallmark factors of the program. Wonder, wonderful. Uh, and so the first partner program that I want to start with is actually our Singapore Management University partner, so SMU. Uh, and so you can see on the top of the screen there what that program breakdown will look like time-wise for that partner program with Singapore Management University. You'll spend your first summer at WashU doing six credits, so those four courses for six credits. And then for the next uh, two semesters, you'll dive in to those curriculum at SMU. So you'll do a fall and a spring semester, ranging in courses, again, in that finance and in that applied finance space, and then finishing up here at Olin for that last rigorous semester in the summer too. So it is a summer, fall, spring, summer program that you can then transition into, hopefully work that next fall, uh, and be finished with that program in just about 12 months. Wonderful, and then kind of some different things about the Singapore program. So why a student might choose this partner program over some others uh, when we're evaluating your choice, or when you're evaluating your choices of which school to partner with. Uh, in, in the conversations with SMU, they describe themselves as the best of the East and West in Singapore. It's a culturally diverse space that has a great food environment, is modern, vibrant, and safe. Uh, it's a really fantastic space for students to dive in and get that diverse cultural experience paired with that dual degree program. Uh, and so especially if you're looking to diversify in a cultur culturally diverse space, uh, Singapore Management University might be a uh, partner program that you choose to par with. Next uh, is Yonsei University. And so this is our partner program in uh, South Korea. And so again, uh, you can see on the top of the screen, we'll run through the, all five programs. Uh, we will run through that time scale four. And you can see that again, you'll spend the summer one here at Washington University in St. Louis. And then a little bit different, you'll have three, so tri-semesters, fall, winter, and spring with Yonsei. And then in the summer, you'll be back here on campus for that rigorous semester and that immersion experience. And so also with Yonsei, one interesting fact about them and why you might choose that university is they were actually recently ranked as the number one uh, MBA program in Korea by The Economist. And so their global MBA, which is that other degree that you will get paired with that master's in finance here at Olin, uh, actually, as you can see, became the first and only MBA program in Korea to be ranked in the world's top 10 100 full-time MBAs by The Economist for the fourth straight year. And so again, another culturally diverse experience for students to dive into uh, and pair with that master's in finance program here at Olin. Well, wonderful. And so the next program we're going to dive into actually uh, is our interdisciplinary study, our interdisciplinary center at Herzliya, so IDC Herzliya, that actually has a nice little video for our students. My name is Dr. Gali. I'm the head of the GMF program for Manual Six Corp Entrepreneurship at IBC Entertainment. One of the main advantages of this program is within one semester, students have the chance to interact with leading VCs and global startups in Israel and really be part of the amazing ecosystem. There are fantastic opportunities to transform yourself. Another is on climate policy to our international finance professional in the future world. I am a technical professional in Canada. It's an investment advisor in Canada and I have Chinese customers. So I will apply my Chinese expertise. And then my mission is the investment firm, which is basically. I did my internship with Marker. He's a leasing company based in New York City and the first day of the internship. This is my internship. Organization experience in the world. Education experience in the Students take courses in business entrepreneurship with leading experts in their fields, but the industry never liked the topic of the internship. I 
touches on it, saying it was first of all, it's not like much touch on situations. Israel is a very amazing country. It's a startup nation, and then this campus is very lovely, and we have a lot of international students here. IDC's entrepreneurial spirit puts an emphasis on learning by doing. Our students have the opportunity to gain hands-on experience, cultivate business connections, and become part of a global entrepreneurial ecosystem. And here, according to my own experience, I learn, I engage, I involve, and I communicate. And uh, this kind of format of this program is a great lesson for those international students who want to get exposure from the both sides, no matter the United States or uh, Israel. And right now the ecosystem here is very active and a lot of people coming here to get some chance to invest. <laughs> program gives you like unique experience in internship and the courses are all amazing uh, like entrepreneurship courses and some uh, business courses. I strongly recommend all the international students from all of the world to come study and to live in IDC Brasilia. I'd like to invite you to join us at IDC and experience one of the most exciting entrepreneurial ecosystems in the world. <laughs> All right, and so as you can see, uh, one of the uh, uniqueties and one of the aspects that is really intensive as a part of the IDC program is that internship experience. So you can see those different students in the video, they talked quite a bit about their internship experiences and the different environments that they were put in as a part of that experience. And as you can see from the graphic on the top of the page, uh, it is a little bit of an, a shortened period of time that you'll actually be in IDC, so that hands-on venture creation experience in Israel, those internship experiences, that immersion with Israeli companies, that really all takes effect in that one fall semester. So it is that intensive experience. So if that's what you're looking for uh, in that Global Masters in Finance Partner Program, it's a fantastic option for you. The video kind of spoke a lot about that student experience throughout with the internship. And this is, as we spoke about a little earlier, uh, the program that is actually paired with a certificate. So as a part of this partner program, you'll receive a certificate in innovation and entrepreneurship from IDC. Wonderful. And so our next partner program is WHU. And so again, you can see the timeline at the top is a little bit different for those students. And so you'll spend a summer in, with, uh, with us here at Washington University in St. Louis, a fall and a spring with WHU, summer back here for that intensive courses and uh, immersion experience, and then you'll actually finish back at WHU uh, to complete that master in finance with WHU. Uh, and so one of the also unique parts of this program is also the internship experience that is like IDC, but you also have the ability to, graduates have, are eligible to work in Germany for 18 months after graduation to seek that full-time living experience and full-time position. So that's another unique part of that program. Uh, it is the number one master finance program in Germany, which is fantastic and really recognized for being on the top of the research and instruction, as you can see, among research and teaching universities, highly recognized as a world leader. And so another experience for students who might be looking for that international diverse in, uh, in excuse me, internship intensive program. Uh, and it is a fantastic one to look through. Uh, and then the last of our partner programs is our, um, our partnership in Barcelona. So Universitat Pompei Fabra Barcelona. Uh, and so again, you can see that it's a little bit different. You'll spend a summer with us, the fall, winter and spring in Barcelona summer with us and then again 
back in fall in Barcelona. So again, another extended period of time uh, that students will take advantage of the culture and the diverse nature. And as you can see, the running or the diversity between your ocean front all the way to the, uh, the football games. Uh, and you get that culturally immersive experience and another fantastic finance program uh, where you will pair that master in finance here at Olin uh, with that master in finance and banking from UPF. And so for all five of our partner programs, I, I know that we went through all five of them on that very surface level, just going through the time frame, talking a little bit about those diverse experiences that you'll have. Uh, so I would also recommend for anyone listening to dive in uh, to those experiences and really look through that curriculum uh, that's available online. And you can go through all of that, uh, the courses that you'll take, really discovering that other side. We talked a lot about the cultural diversiveness, the internship experiences that students will get to have as a part of the program. So I highly encourage you, if you're thinking about this Global Master of Finance program, really take the time to dive into the, that curriculum. And if you have any questions, we'll get to that a little bit later, please feel free to let us know and we'd be happy to talk about which program might be best for you. All right, next we're going to end up uh, with that immersion experience. One key factor in this program that is constantly reviewed by our students as one of the moments in the program when that they had the deepest experience and uh, the most knowledge gain was in the immersion experience. So this is a chance for students to actually spend about two weeks uh, in New York City and Washington DC here in the US. So all of our Global Master of Finance students will uh, take, get together. You can see a couple pictures there on the screen and they will take, those uh, take that two week time to explore Washington DC and New York City, meet with some top companies and firms, Take a, cultural, or take a culturally immersive experience. So uh, as you can see there on the left, really taking the time to dive into the nation's capital and the White House and get that uh, political immersion and see some of those sites, as well as, as you can see in the middle there, being able to meet with business leaders and have one-on-one -on -one conversations and to gain that conversation and experience with them is one thing that our students talk about every single year as one of the parts of the program that they absolutely loved. Uh, you can see some of the partner, uh, excuse me, some of the institutions that we will visit at S&P Global uh, and taking some tours of New York there. Um, we do have a connection here at Olin Business School with the Brookings Institute in Washington, D.C. So many times a speaking engagement and conversational panel uh, will be had at Washington, D.C. to really dive deep and make sure that you get that immersive experience and the ability to answer answer questions and to talk about those business experiences that you're learning in the classroom and how we put them into effect in the real world. So that immersion experience is absolutely something that I think students do not ever want to give up as a part of the program and is a very key factor to that program as a whole. Wonderful. So next we'll go through the application process. So if you're ready today to apply to the program, what would you need to have? And so you can see there on the screen a couple of different things that we require. Uh, you'll need to complete the online application in full, uh, which does go through some questions on your history, uh, as well as some academic questions. Um, you will require an essay and, uh, excuse me, a resume and an essay as a part of the application. Uh, we will take a GMAT or GRE score. So for either one of those, we will take a GMAT or GRE. Uh, for our international students, we would require an IELTS or a TOEFL. Uh, that will be valid through the beginning of your program. And then also we would need uh, transcripts from you. So uh, as you can see on the bottom of the screen there, all documents that are uploaded to the application can be unofficial. And so the GMAT, GRE, IELTS, or TOEFL score, transcripts, they can all be unofficial at the time of the application um, to be uploaded. And we would only require official documents to be sent to our office if you are offered admission and you choose to accept and enroll in the program. Uh, but other than that, all of those documents can be unofficial at the time of your application. And then lastly, we would just require that application fee to be able to process your application. Uh, and it is currently $100 for that application fee. All right, and so kind of next things, what can you do to stay involved? So I'm so glad that you guys were able to join me today for this webinar to 
kind of scratch the surface for those global master of finance programs, really talk about more of the, 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 that diversity and the globalness of that education and the different experiences you can have. And like I mentioned, I would highly recommend diving into the curriculum for each of those programs if you did want to see that a little bit further. Uh, also, um, there are a couple other webinars that are, will be coming up uh, in the next, <clears throat> excuse me, next few weeks. And so our S&P program overview, which program might be best for you, is coming up next Wednesday, March 14th at two, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, that will also have me. So if you haven't minded listening to my voice for the last 22 minutes, I would be happily invite you to come listen to it again at 9 o'clock next Wednesday when we take another deep dive into all of the S&P portfolio programs and which one might be best for you. Uh, and then March 16th, so next Friday, will be a financial services webinar, again at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, that will dive a little bit deeper on financing your degree. And so either, if either one of those sounds interesting, I highly recommend you registering for those. And again, just the same as this webinar, that even if you aren't able to attend, I would highly recommend uh, registering for that because we do record those and we'll send that out when it is available. Wonderful. And so my last uh, slide here is, what do you do now? That's often a question I get from students of, I've listened to this webinar, I've gone through this information, so what can you do now? Uh, if you are, <clears throat> excuse me, able to and would like to attend an on-campus event, we do have some on-campus events uh, for the rest of the semester available for students that are on our website under uh, events and attending here at Olin Business School that you're able to register for. Uh, attend one of the webinars. We just talked about a few of them that would be applicable for any of our students. So if you think that you'd like to gain a little bit more information through a webinar, please feel free to register for those. Uh, they are available on our website. You are absolutely welcome to speak with a recruiter in our office. I would highly encourage it. As I mentioned at the beginning, I am a graduate programs recruiter here at Olin Business School. And so I would be happy to speak with any of our students and make sure that we can dive deep to talk about, again, what program might be best for you, answer any of those lingering questions that you have. So again, I'd highly encourage you to reach out to try to set up a meeting time with a recruiter or just to ask some questions. Uh, you can email that graduate admissions, Olin graduate admissions at Worcester.edu. That will get sent to one of our recruiters in the office to make sure that we connect to you to get all of your questions answered. And then lastly, you can always start your application. If you're thinking that this is the next step for you, this is the best thing that you can do for your career going forward, I highly encourage you to reach out to a recruiter, see about the application, and maybe even start that application today. We still do have one round available for students to apply in for this fall 2018 school year, and that would be our round four, which has an application deadline of April 10th. And so for any of our international applicants, I do wanna stress that for the round four application deadline of April 10th, you will want to make sure that your application is complete at the time of application. Because of the I-20 visa process, it is a very quick turnaround for our round four applicants. So you'll wanna make sure I don't have to hunt you down to make sure that to get all of your information, you'll want to up uh, upload all of your documents and to make sure that that is complete at the time of your application. And so those are the next steps. Uh, that's all that information that I wanted to share with you today. I'm very glad that you were able to join us. So I will open it up now for questions. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to use the Q&A box that is there for you. Um, you can also potentially use that chat box if that is more accessible for you to see. Um, but I will open it up now for some questions. And like I said, I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions about some differences in the programs. Um, some, uh, again, more general questions. I'd be happy to answer any questions later on if you did have some. If you wanted to email that Olin grad admissions at Worcester.edu directly uh, and connect with you there as well. And so we'll kind of open it up again. I know we have a few people that are still hanging around. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. 
Wonderful. And so Leo, I see your question here in the Q&A. Uh, and so for specific questions like that, I would be happy to answer that uh, for you more specifically a little bit later on. I'd be ha I will connect with you after we're done here today uh, for your case specifically. Uh, but to kind of take your question a little bit more generally uh, about scores that might be below average or the class profiles that students see. Uh, one thing I often encourage students about the application process when you're when, when you are reviewing profiles is that you have to remember that they are averages there. That means that there are some students who are below and some students that are above. And so one thing to remind all of you about is that here at Olin, the application process is very holistic. We review every single part of your application. Uh, and de to, de to determine your success for the program. So just because you have a GMAT or a GRE that is below average versus a TOEFL score and IELTS that is above average, whatever it might be. I highly encourage students to go through the application process because it is a very holistic process here at Olin. And again, Leo, I'd be happy to talk with you a little bit later. I will reach out just to answer a few more questions, hopefully set up a meeting if you'd like to. But thank you for the question. Anyone else? Have any questions that they'd like to answer? Any last questions they'd like to ask? Uh, if not, I'll, I will bring it to an end today. Wait just a few more seconds here. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you guys again so much, very much for attending our webinar today. I really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to that Olin grad admissions at wustl.edu to get that answered. And we will also make sure that this webinar is sent to you once that becomes available. Thank you very much and have a fantastic rest of your day.